What's going on everyone? This is Vince with vshred.com and if you're looking for a new arm workout to try today, I'm gonna take you through my toned arms workout that anybody can do. I'm gonna keep on going up till the lights go down. All right, so like I said, in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through an arm workout. It's gonna be good for really anybody who's trying to hit their biceps and their triceps and also a little bit of shoulders today. It's gonna be eight different exercises, but with that much volume, we're gonna to do supersets. And so we're gonna be doing four supersets that have two exercises in each of them. So we're gonna be moving pretty quickly through this workout. So it's gonna be a good one, uh, but it's gonna be quick. Um, now, before we get into it, I, I'll, I'll just throw out there that if you're, you're, if you're here, because you're trying to get in shape. Maybe you're here after the New Year's, maybe, I don't know when you're watching this video, but if you're trying to get in shape, doing this workout will be great. Doing any workout that you find on YouTube will be amazing. We have a ton of workouts here on the channel. You can go check them out, but you have to make sure that you're not just going to the gym and just doing an arm workout or just doing a leg workout. You have to make sure that your entire plan is built around exactly what your goals are. And if you want help with getting in shape beyond just a simple workout, we actually have a free fitness quiz that basically tells you the three most important things to do with either your workouts and how to have shorter workouts that are more effective or with your dieting so that you can still enjoy foods that you actually like eating and get in shape at the same time. So if you wanna take that free fitness quiz, um, I'll throw a link to it down in the description below this video, you can check it out. So for this workout, I'm going to show you each exercise each superset make sure that you're doing the form right we're going for 12 to 15 reps for each exercise 45 second rest and try to hit that on the mark get a timer on your phone ready the first exercise that we got up is a dumbbell curl to an arnold press and so rather than just sitting here and doing a dumbbell curl and a dropping it back down dumbbell curl dropping it back down we're going to make them one exercise and we're also going to focus on time under tension which if you've never heard the term time under tension it's one of the best things that you can add to your fitness routine to spark some new muscular growth and boost your metabolism so and basically what that means is just keeping your muscle under tension longer and so what we're going to do to do that is we're going to curl both of these dumbbells up and this is going to be your starting position from here you're going to drop one weight down do a bicep curl and then go into an Arnold press and then back to starting position. So drop the other one down, curl it up, Arnold press, starting position, curl, Arnold press, starting position. And when you do one rep on each arm, that's one total rep. So it's starting position, go down into a curl, curl it up, Arnold press, super controlled with your form, down into a curl, Arnold press. So that's exercise number one. Great exercise for your biceps and also for your shoulders. Exercise number two, we're gonna be focusing on triceps and the backside of our shoulders. So I'm going to grab a slightly lighter weight. And here, what we're going to do are bent over dumbbell kickbacks. And then we're going to superset that with rear delt flies. So what this looks like is you're gonna go both arms at the same time, kick your elbows back, and you want your elbows in line with your body. You want them perpendicular, parallel to the ground. You don't want them down here, you don't want them way up, and you don't want them moving as you do this, okay? So kick your elbows back, tricep kick back, back down, arms straight, rear delt fly. Elbows up, kick back, rear delt fly. Elbows back, kick back, arm straight, rear delt fly. So right there. So once you do one kick back and one fly, that's one rep. So again, going for 12 reps, you're gonna do nice controlled form, really getting that elbow high, kicking it back, squeezing, returning it back down, then straightening your arm and really focusing on bringing this arm out wide. You're not trying to shrug up, you're trying to bring it out wide, almost like you're reaching under something that's far away from you. So 12 of those reps, rest for 45 seconds, do that three times, and then we'll get into the third superset. 
So for this exercise, we just have a straight up superset. This isn't like a conjoined exercise like the last two have been. We're just going to do uh, dumbbell hammer curls. We're gonna go 12 reps right here, and then we're gonna go overhead extension 12 reps right here. Um, so there's gonna be right back to back. There's no resting in between those. So you'll do 12 and 12, and then you'll rest for 45 seconds, do that for three rounds. So just to show you the form, with hammer curls, only main difference is that your hands just stay neutral the whole time. So rather than supinating your wrist, you just keep them uh, straight up and down, thumbs up towards the sky the whole time. So hammer curls, keeping your elbows right down by your side. I like to actually bring them forward a smidge. That way my biceps are engaged. From there, curl this weight up all the way, squeeze at the top, return back down, but don't rest. Keep that tension, two three, four. So you're gonna go all the way to 12 reps here. And then after you say, let's get 11 and we'll call this 12. You'll return back down and then you'll bring this weight up. And then for your overhead extension, you really wanna focus on keeping your elbows tucked in as tight as you can. They're probably going to flare a little bit, especially if you don't do this exercise a lot. Even, if, I mean, I do do this exercise a lot and my elbows are still gonna flare a little bit comes down to your shoulder mobility just try to keep them tucked because the more you keep them tucked the more you're gonna hit your tricep but starting all the way at the top dropping them down while keeping your elbows in go down to just past 90 with your elbows squeeze up down squeeze up down squeeze up down squeeze up so you're gonna go 12 reps right there and then You'll drop this weight down, rest for 45 seconds, and do that for three more rounds. And then we're gonna get into the final superset, which is going to be a body weight superset. A nice little core stability exercise to finish the workout. So we're gonna drop down to the ground, and what we're going to do is an exercise that's really good for your triceps, and then an exercise that, like I said, is good for your core. Also gonna be working your shoulders a little bit. So we're, first up, we have close grip push-ups. Close grip push-ups are probably the best body weight tricep exercise that there is, um, maybe dips. But here, what you're gonna do is, I think a lot of people with close grip push-ups, they put their hands way too close and they end up hurting their elbows or something. Um, instead, just go just inside of shoulder width. So if this is shoulder width, I'm going just inside of that. And so right there, that's allowing me to keep my elbows tucked as I press, and I can really squeeze as I press. So just inside a shoulder width, keeping my chest out, shoulders rolled back, and then from there, keeping my elbows tucked as I go down, go down as far as I can, squeeze up, squeeze up. So I'm going 12 reps here. If by the end of this workout, you can't do these regular, just drop down to your knees. No shame in that game but go all 12 and then after that you're going to stay on your hands and you're just going to go straight into uh, plank shoulder taps and so with plank shoulder taps you're basically just going to be shifting your weight a little bit and tapping your shoulder so your shoulders are probably going to be feeling it because of those push-ups and now we're going to engage your core a little bit while still burning out those shoulders so you'll just go 12 each side so it's one one, two, two, all the way up to 12. Rest for 45 seconds. Do that for three rounds and you are done. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed this workout or if you're about to go do it, hopefully you do enjoy this workout. Um, like I said, anybody can do this. All you need really is a heavier set of dumbbells and a lighter set of dumbbells. And you can do this at home. You can do this at a hotel. You can do this really anywhere. But um, that's it for today, guys. If you guys want more content like this, if you guys want a specific type of workout you want me to uh, do here on the channel, make sure that you're throwing it down in the comments. Also, make sure you are liking the video. We get a lot of people who are watching these videos but just not liking them or people who watch our videos that aren't subscribed. And so you're just missing out on a bunch of free content if you're not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button. Um, but that's all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.